Hey everyone, it's quarter past three in the morning. I'm starting to get tired. And it's uh, the 17th of December, which makes that now Monday morning. So, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, diecast cars because I do have a, uh, a nice little collection. Not a large collection. And it's a mix of brands and a mix of um, age. I've got some Matchbox ones that goes far back as the 1960s. Four of which are sitting right in front of me at the minute. Because my stepdad has actually done some restoration work on them. And he's doing a bunch more for me. Um, he wanted something to do in between, you know doing stuff with his model railway um, and we have both been watching a guy on YouTube, Marty's Matchbox Makeovers is his channel um, restore these old Matchbox vehicles um, and my stepdad got interested in it because he already had the spray booth he just needed a few other bits and bobs which he went and bought cheap things like um, a little tap and die set um, some tiny little screws I needed to top up on paint thinners but that's like a one of those sort of what they call them um, not expendable uh, so it's one of them things that you know you have to replace anyway because it don't last forever anyway a few other bits you needed to get as well um, so I sorted him four out to begin with which was these four, which really didn't take him that long to do. Um, this one and this one, the American Ford station wagons, we painted back yellow. They were originally yellow. Um, not quite as dark as the, this yellow, but not far off. Um, I suppose if we really, really wanted to, we could have lightened the yellow, but... We're just sort of experimenting at the minute. Um, this one, again, is not the original blue, but it was blue originally. And that one was like a, a creamy sort of beigey colour originally. But uh, we went yellow with that one as well. I think it's just because the colour. <laughs> I think yellow was just the colour he was using at the time. But anyway, this is a little Vauxhall Victor. And as you can see, he's done some detailing on this one as well. He's painted in the tail lights. I don't think there's actually tail lights on the bumper, but never mind. He's um, painted the bumpers chrome. They are meant to be yellow, the same colour as the rest of the car. If this, well, if we restored this back to originality, we wouldn't have done all the the chrome work, as it were. You see, he's even um, put some silver on the headlights to highlight them. And uh, I think he did the door handles. Yep, I don't know if I can get it in the right light. There we go. You can just see the door handles. So that was the first one he did for me. The Lincoln Continental here was the second one. Now I've got another two of these awaiting uh, restoration. As you can see, he's painted the um, ends of the axles silver to make them look like chrome. Little chrome hubcaps. Um, now, whoever had this before I owned this one had done a repair on this but it's not obvious. Um, basically, one of the other ones I've got, the trunk lid opens. And I've owned all of these for quite a long time now, probably about 15 years or even longer, I can't remember now. But I know I owned all of these before I even moved into this flat and I've been here nine, nearly nine and a half years. So, and I've owned, like I said, I've owned these a lot young, longer than that. So, anyway, I thought this was a different variation of the same model because the trunk doesn't open on this one. Um, but it wasn't until my stepdad, you know, drilled the rivets. He's put a couple of tiny little screws in there to hold the chassis back on. Um, yeah, it wasn't until he dismantled it to prep it for respraying and whatnot that we noticed that it used to have an opening trunk but the hinges had snapped because if you're not careful you drop these wrong it will snap 
the trunk lids off. Um, so someone had filled the trunk with like some resin or something, epoxy resin, and glued the trunk lid back in. And they've done such a good job that you'd never notice. And I can see a little bit of dirt right there, and it's bugging me. Let's try and get that out of that groove. There we go. Yeah. It's an excellent job. I've never ever noticed it. But I have noticed I've got another one that someone has repainted red. So I may get my stepdad just to do that red. It was meant to be like a light green colour. In fact, I've seen him mix up this green or similar green for another model that he's just done. I might get him to spray the other one there. But that's got a stuck boot lid as well. I've got a funny feeling someone's done the same with that one. But I still, even though this isn't the original blue, I think that has come up excellent. I do love that colour of blue anyway. And to me, it's just given a very old car a new lease of life either way. But like I said, these ones are a bit more closer to original. With the yellow. As, as my stepdad did with the other one. The Victor. He's um, painted the bumpers in and... Painted all a bit of trim. He's painted the hood ornament on this one. Um, it's good practice for him as well. Gives him something to do and good practice because with model railways there is a lot of painting involved where they do a lot of detailing like that on certain things for the layout and uh, they use like the spray gun which is what you used for this. Just a tiny little sort of uh, modeler spray gun. Um, to weather the little build, some of the little buildings and even the wagons, the railway wagons and probably you could probably weather cars as well just to make them look a bit rusty and dirty so I think he's had some good practice so far with the spray gun and mixing paints um, he's trying not to do yellow at the minute, the last yellow one he did is a taxi but he did actually do a proper colour match. We are doing a proper restoration on that one. We've got the little taxi sign transfer. Should be in the mail. He's ordered a bunch more. Um, there's two vans there which are actually, oddly enough, the right scale. That sort of scale. For his model railway layout. So I said, well as I've got two... If you do them both up, you can have one for the um, layout as well. So he's got a Bedford CA Dormobile van for his railway layout. <sighs> right, I'm going to park my bum on the bed. Ooh. I did sort of my little box of model cars out to restore, but I've also got... I have no idea how many is in here, but there's this big old bag here as well. There's all sorts in there, mostly Matchbox. I think I've got a duplicate in there as well. So I've got all of those. Uh, there's actually a truck in there. I don't want to go for restoration, but it's in there just for the time being. He's got plenty, and I've also got what's in my um, closet here. I've actually, um, well. I decided as I was sorting out cars, you know, because he asked me to bring any down. He wanted some lorries and things as well to do. So I chucked a load of those in that box I took down there. But uh, while I was sorting th cars out for him to work on, I decided to sort my boxes out as well. Whoops. So in the bottom here, I did have some in that red box, but because it's smaller, I put all my electrical bits in there. Which I'm going to go through because there's a bunch of shit in there I'm going to chuck out. Um, but there's three of these white tubs. Now the bottom one's got Majorette cars in. Which is one of my favourite brands. The next one up is Hot Wheels. The top white plastic tubs full of Matchbox. Then we've got a blue tray of... When I get my finger in the right place. Of uh, miscellaneous brands. And then Corgi right at the top. Now, weirdly, Corgi's at the top, but that's actually my least favourite brand. <laughs> I don't actually know why it's my least favourite brand, to be honest. I just seem to be a big Matchbox fan. 
Matchbox and Majorette, which I've actually got an assortment of on here. When I was sorting my cars out, there was some on here that are not in too bad condition for their ages, and I just, or they're in mint condition, and I just didn't want them to deteriorate in those boxes, so I've laid them on here for now. Oh, pardon me. That wasn't intentional. But, uh, is that the light? Oh, that was the light. I looked across here, and the way the light reflected off the plastic on these Hot Wheels packages, it actually looked like there's a bit of cobweb going right across there. It's playing tricks on my eyes. Uh, yeah, I've got a load of these, apart from those lorries at the back there, but all of these are all my corgis. Well, all the ones I felt good enough to put on display. That goes right to the end. One there that I'll get my stepdad to restore. Actually, there's a few on here I'll get my stepdad just to give a fresh coat of paint to. Like this grey Sierra. Maybe that grey Capri. This uh, Mercury on the end here. That's a simple one. There's no markings on it. And it's just a black roof with a white body. Be easy peasy for him to do. Um, a few others on here. I've got these Mustangs. In fact, as far as Mustangs, I don't know if you can see them. There's a pile of toy cars right under the bed. Let's just zoom in, shall we? My finger just slipped off the button. That pile there is all Ford Mustangs. And I've had a count up and I've actually worked out I have about 75 Ford Mustangs, including four Hot Wheels ones here. I've got this one here, which I think is a 2015. Yep, 2015 GT. I'll turn you around so you can see them better. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Uh, and I've got a yellow one as we come down. A yellow GT here, which is a 2010 GT. And if we move along, we've got the 68 Shelby GT500. And right at the start, we've got an orange 69 Boss 302. And like I said, I've just got an assortment under the bed. There's a few, yeah, I think about three Matchbox ones. In my dad, um, I'll try that again, I'm getting tired. <laughs> In my stepdad's railway room, ready to be repainted. One that I did myself ages ago with a paintbrush. Did a good job, but you can see all the paint marks in it. So it isn't a good finish. That is the arse about using a paintbrush. It's possible, but you don't get a good finish. Same with a spray can. I tried that with that ambulance I sprayed red. It worked. That's it wasn't the finish I was after. That finish that my stepdad has been doing, using the the air gun, the air spray gun, is a much better finish. Uh, right, so I probably only need about another four Hot Wheels cars to complete the run on this shelf. Um, but as fast as my local Sainsbury's fill up their box of Hot Wheels cars, they sell. Even though these days they're £1.50. I mean, when I was young, they were 99p. But uh, I actually don't mind spending £1.50 on a Hot Wheels car, because they do put a heck of a lot of details and a lot of vehicle... A lot of vehicle graphics. A lot of graphics on them as well. But even when I reach the end of this shelf, I'm still going to buy the Hot Wheels cars. I'll just buy the ones, you know, that... I like the look of all the ones that I consider quite unusual like uh, I've got a little Fiat here and uh, this weird looking van right there or something which was I thought was quite unique this um, Fair Lady 2000 I thought that was quite nice What is it? Hot, wait, Hot Wheels Speed Graphics. Ah, so that's what they're doing with these ones. So I've got number 7 of 10 and 3 of 10 and I've got 4 of 10. 
and I've got 10 of 10. Oh, I've got another one here, so what have I got? This one, what's this one? This one is number 8 of 10. Perhaps I should jot down those numbers, see if I can actually get all 10. At least complete one of these, because there's all sorts up here. There's these ones, which are the holiday races. Oh, I see, that's got Valentine's on it. And then there's this one, which is um, Hot Wheels Flames. I've got number four and number eight there. What else have we got? Hot Wheels Exotics. Night Burners. Uh, Hot Wheels Metro. See, they do all of these. What have we got down this end? We've got the Hot Wheels Workshop. Hot Wheels Mild to Wild, Hot Wheels Trucks, I've got a few of those, uh, Muscle Mania, got a few of those, Hot Wheels City, well I don't have a collection number on that one, some more trucks, another Hot Wheels Workshop, yay! Let's see what else I can find in the tub, I've got another one down here which has got um, Cruella de Vil's in the Ah, Hot Wheels Screen Time. Hopefully there's some left Thursday when I get paid, because I might actually see what I can find. But there was very few left when I went in there yesterday, or was it the day before? Something like that. But uh, what I do, I haven't put the pin that I've hung them up on here with through the um, card what I've done is that see so the hook hooks over the the tack and I just get it in the right place where I want it and press it in so there we go Cruella de Vil is up there so yeah, I'd say about another four it might overhang the end a bit but as long as there's enough room for me to do that and then I'll uh, keep on collecting, I think. Because I have a lot of room in my Hot Wheels tub. I think I made the mistake, I can't remember, I think that was last year actually, of um, getting rid of a bunch of my Hot Wheels and whatnot. Mind you, there were ones that I sort of just either stopped liking or never really liked in the first place and just wondered why I bought the damn things. <laughs> As you do. I've not just done that with these diecast cars either. I've bought other things and then sit here and think, why the hell did I buy that? But, uh... Yeah, anyway. Fun fact. When I was a child, my two favourite toys were diecast cars and Lego. And I guess they've just both those um, both those items, toys, whatever you want to call them I'm losing the plot, I think I'm going to shut the camera off in a minute I'm getting too tired but both of those have just sort of followed me into adulthood I suppose I've, I guess my inner child has never let go of them well, with Lego it is what I call my uh, creative medium it's how I like to create because I can't draw I used to draw but it was you know one dimensional it was things like houses and whatnot. but I haven't done anything like that in years but other than that you know I'm not an artist I don't sculpt or anything like that I'm no good with cutting wood so, I don't make things out of wood, but Lego, I can create with. So, it's my creative medium. Ooh. Right. I'm just going to check eBay, because I've got a few things on there. They may have sold, they may not have sold, they haven't sold. <sighs> I 
I wish they would. <laughs> I'm hoping that by the time I wake up, someone would have bought at least one. Sure, I just heard something buzzing around my bloody light. I'm going to shut the PC down while I'm here. Oh, I've just realised I didn't turn any of my Christmas lights on. Actually, I turned one set on. I must have totally forgot about it. Empty drinks can. Particularly nose. Right. I think it is time to sunsy off to be here. And that translated is, it's time to sodden ze off to bed. <laughs> right, anyway, something a bit different, I thought I'd uh, talk about them. I will show the other vehicles as and when they're done. I'll perhaps wait until another four are done and then bring those home, then I can show you them for... Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.